to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund Voices of Partners. Today we'll be working with the İhtiyaç Haritası Cooperative, also known as the Needs Map. And, and we have a wonderful guest speaker today, Mert Brat, who's the founder, founding partner of İhtiyaç Haritası Needs Map. It's really mm -hmm. interesting because, you know, we know and love Mert from all of his successful acting career. He has an award-winning successful career in theater. What's less well known is that he's also a script writer, an award-winning script writer. And really, it's really interesting to get to know Matt from another perspective. He's a very active person in civic engagement. Um, before Itia Charitasa, he became a board member of the Teatro Cooperative or the, or the Theater Cooperative to mobilize the theater sector ecosystem. He's one of the founding partners of Sanat Mahal Project in Bursa to create space for the arts in the cities and districts of Bursa. And of course, with his activities in Ihtiyaç Haritası, which really grew very, very quickly, um, he became one of the UND appointed goodwill ambassadors representing Turkey in Turkey and abroad, I think. But as we're setting the stage and we're waiting for Estra, I mean, we have an opportunity to speak with Mark directly right now about the, the purpose Welcome again to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund Voices of Partners. We're here today with Ihtiyaç Haritasa, the founder, Mert Fırat. I'm gonna continue from where we left off due to our technical difficulties. We were just about to talk about the, you know, where the idea for Ihtiyaç Haritasa or the needs map came from, how it was born, what challenges and mission um, is the organization actually pursuing, trying to overcome. And it's really fascinating that when you say needs map, the name itself kind of gives you an idea of what it's about. But Matt, can you tell us like what the Needs Map Foundation was designed to do and, and how the idea came to you? Yeah, thank you for the invitation, by the way. It's a great opportunity to meet with all of you. Uh, it's a great pleasure. So Ihtia Charitas Needs Map is a kind of um, meeting point for the supporters and the needers. It's so a two sides, needers and supporters. And in the middle of uh, the uh, bridge, uh, our admin panel works. So uh, we, uh, I mean, we start with 2015, I think. 2015, it's a start. All right. So uh, this needs map uh, works almost seven years. Uh, and on this system, it's very easy. And uh, almost 350 different NGOs working uh, on uh, needs map. So, I mean, they are uh, taking uh, place uh, in needs map. They are uh, writing their needs. They are uh, writing their supports. This can be education support sometimes. Even the, uh, sometimes they are just uh, sending books, everything. I mean, uh, the, the limit is the sky. We just uh, thinking about uh, all time uh, talking about this in the needs map because sometimes they're asking for the uh, like iPhone 13. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them asking <laughs> for the brain for their husbands. Some of them asking for the telescope. So it's interesting. Needs uh, is never stopped. So it's never uh, limited, let's say. So uh, we're working on uh, the system to make it better every day. But we start uh, with the great shipper to reach people, uh, reach all of them, and not to leave anyone back uh, behind. So in this uh, feelings, we start uh, to need map. And uh, I grew up in Ankara, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know how to translate this. When you translate this uh, comic, uh, Hulk Evleri. Mm -hmm. uh, Hulk Evleri, you know, community, it's like, maybe like community, community houses. houses, yeah, uh, community, community house. Ah, oh, Isra, you can speak to and hear. Great, Yay, welcome I'm, aboard. I'm so sorry, you know, I no, was in a war with technology, so now no, it's all now no it's all set. Sorry, welcome. You know, we start with this uh, Hulk Evleri uh, feeling for me. It's like image culture, you know, mm -hmm. before we just talk which is like kind of uh, co-founding uh, like or crowdsourcing uh, crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing co like, yeah. let's say crowd crowdsourcing let's say so kind of uh, it's very common in turkey uh, so 
in uh, small cities in the any uh, small um, almost families uh, doing this uh, crowdsource and everything in, in very common in Turkey. So we start with this idea. We come mm. out with this idea with Ali Ercan. And uh, when we met, we just talk almost six hours uh, for with, with Nice Map idea. After mm-hmm. that, uh, we loved each other. We fall in love with the idea yeah, and fantastic. our feelings. So after six hours, we decide to do it, and uh, and we just said, I mean, let's do it uh, like seventy percent with our heart, thirty percent with technology, because we don't have that. We, we don't have enough money to support this technology at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we start with better culture. Uh, we ask help for the uh, development of people which we know of, uh, with the other relationships. So we ask uh, many friends, Esra, one of these friends, I mean, at the beginning of the first year, even six months maybe, uh, Esra uh, come to board and come to Ihtiya Çaritası. So after that, everything has changed. After six months, one year, uh, the system is built, uh, And maybe Esra, you would like to answer uh, more about Ihtiyaç Ertes too. So huh? es- Esra, before before we were waiting for you, um, I didn't really introduce you yet, so I'll do that now. But okay. I was just saying, I, st- I started to introduce you, um, you know, as originally as an economist who started a career in the hospitality sector for more than 12 years. And in your youth, you were involved in the NGO with cultural exchange activities. And then when you were working in the United States, you also got more formally involved with personal development training for youth and fundraising for homeless people. And really, when you joined forces with Matt Ferrat and his and his colleagues, you became the founding general coordinator. And now you're one of the leading board members of ETI Charitasa. But you didn't stop there, actually. You're also a founding partner of Inogar with a mission to inspire lifelong learning among disadvantaged groups to help them gain more control of their life. And I know your wonderful motivating belief is that goodness will save the world. Um, so this, we were just talking with Matt when you were trying to connect about the inception of Ikea Charity, so where the idea came from. And actually we were talking about this crowdfunding culture in Turkey and the, in the community homes, um, you know, Imeje Kutsuda, for example. Can you talk from your point of view about the, the beginning days of ETI Charity? So what was its mission? How did you guys get started? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it's very nice to be here with you, by the way. And uh, hello to everyone uh, watching us, listening to us at the moment and during their time. It's very, uh, I mean, uh, valuable for us. Uh, everything I'm co-founding or founding or uh, coordinating is because of Mert actually because he was the one who pulled me uh, into this and uh, the very uh, first thing he said was it's it's very it suits your soul uh, just come and see what we are doing it's really suits your soul and you are the one who will gonna help us for you know corporate relations and everything uh, to go further I mean, uh, of course, we needed funding. So uh, they needed someone who could talk money. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's not easy to talk you know, money uh, with corporate, with people, with individuals, because uh, when you say something social, people think that it doesn't make money. It shouldn't make money, actually. Uh, but I, I am totally against it because we have to earn our uh, money or generate revenue more than anyone because we are doing uh, anything we do is for doing good so for doing good. To, yeah to do more to do mm-hmm. better uh, we really need to uh, generate revenue more than anyone any company in the world so we can you know uh, save the world with goodness actually and for the first phase it was uh, as Mert said we love better culture So it was a so better version, the uh, needs map, because we were just, you know, composing mails and uh, copy pasting the addresses of the supporters and people in need. And we had a draft, you know, uh, caption we were sending. We were really matching uh, the ones who really wanted to be uh, interacting. 
And then we like collected all the comments of our users or our members uh, of the site uh, for a year. And then we had the version uh, two, second version, uh, mm -hmm. more digitalized, let's say, uh, it's going, you know, and uh, matching automatically, sending automatic, you know, uh, matching emails and everything. And then uh, we, uh, had the attention of the biggest map company uh, in the world, uh, which is called Esri. Uh, they actually, we met them in an exhibition, I guess, and then they contacted Mac and they wanted to have a meeting. It was like the first meeting of Ali Arjan and Mert. I mean, it started as a one hour meeting and then became like a six hour all day meeting. Fantastic. Actually. And the, uh, the one thing I cannot forget about Esri, the meeting is that they told us that, I mean, we are the biggest map com uh, company uh, in the world, but now you are selling us a map idea. This is amazing. So <laughs> selling uh, a map so, idea to a map company is a pretty big that's deal. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah, that's right. Cause we were, I mean, all our map ideas were, were for social development, for yeah. local development and for social change actually. So uh, they never thought of using the, what their technology uh, the point. way we wanted to use. So uh, that's how today's yeah. Uh, Ikea Charitas uh, became alive and the first days I mean we were so hard I mean yeah. and you know Matt is a famous person I know he's an actor uh, he's one of I mean he's like uh, he's like my brother he's very special to me and uh, for the first days everybody thought that he was a commercial face but it's uh, not really that I was I was proud to be telling that he's one of the you know uh, idea owner, the fathers, owner. yeah, the yeah. idea founder, and the idea founder, yeah, that's right. And he is really in every step of designing, planning, and you know, implementation of each project we have. So, uh, our founders, I mean, we were only two, uh, we had only two employees when we started. Uh -huh. uh, and the others, we were, I mean, the, found, the founding friends, uh, we gave all our efforts for NeedsMap, for Ikea Charitas, uh, to make it really work. So it was a hard work of a bunch of friends, let's say. Thank yeah, you, my Issa. Friends, by the way. Like I the know, you guys are friends. such a community. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big family love affair. So I'm just going to summarize a little bit. Um, so Ikea Charitas started off as a matchmaking platform, you know, with people who in need. Um, matching with people with capabilities to deliver, usually products and services, and sometimes other things, other issues. Obviously, Mart was talking about some people with a sense of humor saying they need a brain for their husband. But <laughs> beyond that, um, you know, and it started off with this very noble initiative. But then very quickly, as the technology started to grow, you actually became an emergency response platform for disasters. So, and I think that that's like in the, with the Turkish Philanthropy Fund and ETI Charitas' uh, collaboration started with the Elaza earthquake in 2020, 20, no, 2020. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things from uh, Turkish philanthropy's point of view is, is it's been remarkable to see how fast uh, the needs map group can mobilize all the stakeholders to respond to emergency needs. So I know that you're doing non-disaster activities, but you also have this disaster capability, this responsiveness capability. And your strength is your structure, which allows you to identify the right needs and bring the parties together right away. Most recently, of course, um, you worked together after the Izmir earthquake and also after the wildfires. And there you started innovating, right? So it wasn't just products and services, but you also started matching people who needed like rental support they needed people needed a place to live and you were able to match them that way as well and i do believe you have some major projects on the horizon to improve your capacity and strengthen your technology um, so that you can be even more responsive and you're trying to do that now before the next disaster natural disaster happens so if we're going to you know rewind a little bit um you're all about collective action, collaboration, and creating this multiplier effect. Can we talk a little bit more about technology for good and this new project that you're doing together with the Turkish Philanthropy Fund 
uh, in developing disaster preparedness tools, tools to be used during disaster, tools for support economies and communities and you know, to mobilize volunteers. Matt, would you like to talk a little bit about technology for good, like what's on the horizon as well? Yeah. Uh, so it's this, uh, technology is developing every day. So, and also uh, we're trying to find more opportunity to uh, co co collaborate uh, for the good, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the uh, needs map group. Uh, so of course, after this 30%, uh, 70% thing is changed. Now is uh, uh, needs map is that uh, even uh, it can make more uh, different maps like agriculture map, like water uh, source map, uh, like uh, many other maps uh, we yeah. can do now. So we change our technology and we make many um, agreement with the other uh, companies, let's say one of the companies S3 already. So now we have our uh, own, uh, let's say, uh, Software. Uh, uh, Yandex. Uh, the search engine. So the searching engine, but it's like also a, like GPS. Um, the GPS. The navigational the navigational partners. Hey, yeah. GPS. Uh, let's navigation. Say, uh, şey bizim bu programcılar yani program yazıcıları aslında yeah, software, developers. software developers yeah. software developers okay yeah software developers we have uh, they were working for the uh, Yandex uh, two of them mm -hmm. so now they are working for us because uh, Yandex just uh, lived to uh, Istanbul lived to Turkey so now these uh, map developers and program developers working with us for the Nice map it's a great opportunity to develop our uh, needs map uh, foundation. So, uh, in this uh, technology uh, side, we are all time looking for the even blockchain systems, which uh, we can uh, make be very more fast for this uh, matchmaking thing and also uh, more um, uh, transparent to use the system more transparent side. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also the COVID uh, time, I mean, so it's, it was very hard uh, for the, uh, let's say, regulations uh, because it's, it was very hard to transfer the money uh, and taking the support uh, because the government side was a little, I mean, they, they forbid to get money. Uh, mm -hmm. to get support uh, for the NGOs, for the uh, municipalities for everyone. So this, right. in, in this uh, situation, we, we start to research and search about uh, new money systems, mm -hmm. like uh, fintechs, uh, financial news, uh, financial solutions. Uh, unfortunately, or uh, it's a gift, let's say, two, two years we're working for it. Esra, me, Ali Arjan, all of us, reading for the new uh, financial solutions and new financial uh, technologies. Uh, in this case, I mean, we uh, uh, co uh, collaborate with the MasterCard. So mm -hmm. MasterCard uh, helped us uh, also. I mean, they support us uh, from the England. The uh, head office uh, support us uh, for the social marketplace, uh, which was an idea for us, but it was very uh, huge. Uh, thing for us because it uh, needs the money needs to support mm -hmm. it takes time a lot for to develop this project which is uh, supporting to uh, yerel economy mm -hmm. local economy <laughs> sure yeah, yeah. local local economy uh -huh. and uh, local um, ngos too so because uh, it's it's very important to use in the earthquake uh, when it's happening izmir izmir is a, a great example i mean Mm -hmm. uh, when it's happening in Izmir, everyone supports from Istanbul, from Ankara, different big cities. Right. And they are sending the many materials to uh, earthquake place. But uh, it's huge traffic uh, for this very hard to managing everything and capacity. And the second one is very, very important. I mean, it's, uh, the 
system and the economy is very bad, the earthquake, earthquake place. Mm -hmm. So when you're taking everything from the other cities, when you're sending them to other cities, also economy collapse too. So in this system, uh, people can support from Istanbul, from New York, from Berlin, uh, from anywhere, uh, to Izmir, uh, in, in Izmir, in, in store, any uh, place. Mm -hmm. They can buy from Izmir and they can just support from Izmir. Uh, and it's also the technology side, the other uh, S3 products we're looking for. Uh, one of the AFET platform, or let's say that this um, summer times, it was uh, many, you know, uh, in the forest fire. And mm -hmm. uh, so in this case, I mean, we're just now taking the uh, data, uh, then we can just understand where is the risky place for the summertime, even uh, 2020 summer, uh, we can already uh, know where, where is the potential, uh, fire potential. So uh, now we are preparing for the uh, fire map, let's say. Uh, yeah. So what else, Estra? Maybe I forget something. That's a lot already. It's a big example. <laughs> so you're saying yeah. that you can match people with needs or people in organizations with needs with people in organizations who can deliver those needs. Mm -hmm. You're saying that you've enabled people to make financial contributions so that they can secure those um, services at, through the local economy. Actually, they can direct it through the local economy, which is also helping the local economy. And now you're creating also information maps for people to pay attention to when they're you know, planning their vacations or whenever they're planning uh, anything actually, if you're doing, um, you know, potential alert areas, etc., so that they can get news faster, quicker. Um, Esra, we were talking too about supporting the local economy, and you had some uh, case studies actually that you might want to share from the disaster relief efforts of the summer. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I may add a few things. Uh, this started with actually a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing that um, Matt mentioned as our pet platform, the disaster platform, actually, uh, we were on the way to Elaza when the earthquake happened. And we started as uh, like five uh, of a WhatsApp group. And then uh, while they were on the way, uh, all the founders uh, were on the way to Elaza. And it became like uh, 48, first of all, and then 72. Uh, NGO leaders uh, from all over Turkey were on that WhatsApp group. And then when we were there, uh, whenever a disaster happens in Turkey, there is always chaos. Always. Right. I mean, there are a lot of, you know, supports coming uh, with trucks and everything, but the coordination, because there is no coordination, it's always chaos. There are always too many, you know, uh, um, the, the right supports are not reaching the right people in need. So uh, it's the it a needs map does exactly this. You send whatever is uh, whatever at whatever amount and whatever is needed to the right person. In need. So uh, mm -hmm. what we did in LLZ was to take needs map uh, to offline on the field and coordinate all the supports coming to LLZ uh, to people who were uh, affected by the earthquake. And then Izmir came and we had the technical uh, software development. So we were online this time, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, handing out online uh, forms uh, for volunteers and all the local NGOs to be able to see where the damages were. And then wow. with the volunteers, we defined uh, how many people were in need actually and what they really needed uh, in these damaged places. So whatever we support we have received uh, in the morning, we were getting all the needs. And then throughout the day, we were coordinating all the supports to those persons in need at the amount of, uh, I mean, uh, needed items. So right. there were no any damages or, you know, uh, mismatching, so on. So uh, we uh, evaluated every uh, support we have received. And then with the technological, uh, let's say, uh, 
infrastructure we have now, uh, right. we are able to analyze, analyze data. Uh, and we have a lot of data on the site because people are, you know, uh, submitting what they need or submitting what they want to support. So uh, with this infrastructure, now we are able to uh, serve the municipalities mm. uh, plus NGOs if they want to have their own needs map to coordinate solidarity uh, within their region. And what we did in Izmir with the uh, municipality was that for uh, people who were without homes after mm -hmm. the earthquake and needed, you know, uh, rental houses, we uh, matched them with people who wanted to help them uh, for rent plus who wanted to help them with their rental houses or with a room in their house. With their capacity, sure. Yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, and that's and, a massive, absolutely. massive logistics coordination yeah, at undertaking the, mm -hmm. at the wildfires we were able to do the same thing but the thing is that now and uh, we are with turkish philanthropy funds and every time we did anything turkish philanthropy funds was with us they supported us really i mean great and whenever we needed support they were there and we are we are so thankful and the cooperation is really valuable because and uh, now what we want to do is, I mean, doing something after a disaster happens is uh, one thing, but being ready for the disaster, I mean, being a ready country, being ready citizens, you know, being a ready even neighborhood is really big. It can save a lot of lives. It can save a lot of cost. It can save a lot of uh, pain, and, time. pain and suffering. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So what we are trying to do, if we have the uh, resources, we are going to be able to make a disaster map, recovery map, whatever you call it, uh, which will be, um, which we will uh, take in action whenever any disaster happens. Now, that's what we are after with Turkish Plants yeah. Funds at the moment. It's and a wonderful this is a big project. Yeah, this is a big yeah. project for uh, if I may give numbers uh, and yes. in Izmir, we have helped millions of people uh, get in houses. That was something. But for the wildfires, it was something else. And uh, plus the flu floods, floods, floods uh, uh -huh. in floods in Black Sea region. There were a lot of a lot of people affected. And uh, fire is not like earthquake. It's, it's a continuous, you know, disaster. Right. Uh, and the first thing you have to do is the, help the fire extinguishers first. And then when the fire stops, we define what is needed, where is damage and everything. We had uh, like 19 villages. Uh, mm -hmm. that needed help, that needed renovation, uh, that needed thousands of people who were out of homes or livelihoods, who lost their, you know, um, houses, uh, furniture, uh, or uh, barns, animals, animals, and so on. So we, uh, as of today, uh, we finished all 19 villages. Wow. And yeah, with all the support we had, and Turkish Funder Funds also supports us for this as well. Uh, all the 19, all the houses in 19 villages, we have finished all of them, the renovations. Uh, plus now, uh, with the latest uh, support of Turkish Funder Funds, we were like, I mean, we are going to be um, targeting the houses first. But if we receive enough funds, we are going to be helping for the barns as well. And okay. now we'll be, we'll be uh, with the latest one we received, we'll be like uh, renovating 20 uh, barns. And believe me, uh, it's not, um, I, especially after the last economic crisis uh, we have been uh, having uh, with the changes in dollars, euros, and the Turkish, you know, Turkish lira losing so much value. Mm -hmm. Everything is so expensive in Turkey at the moment, but 20 barns is a hell, a lot of help. It's I a lot. Say. It's a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fascinating 
it's not thank you for those case studies and those examples you know you you evolved in a very short period of time how the model matured from being a basic tool to match make needs with you know suppliers to a disaster response tool and now to a disaster preparedness tool right so the the model keeps being more and more mature and it can uh, serve many many purposes like before during and after um, yeah. uh, emergency needs actually so from what i understand in addition to building on the technology and the capabilities and the innovation behind the types of giving you mentioned barns for example or rental capacity or you know rooms to rent etc um, now you're going to be moving both locally internally to like university clubs and getting young people involved but also into new markets because this tool can be used anywhere it's not just turkey right uh, Mart, would you like to comment a little bit about your expansion into new markets and what you're going to do with the university clubs yeah i mean like now we are uh, almost 50 university club uh, we just uh, connect with the needs map so uh, we don't want we don't want to just build a needs map a community only in university. It's also uh, we're just building uh, building in the uh, other companies company side too. We are working too, mm -hmm. but because these university um, students they're just gonna be uh, positioned in another company. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this uh, thing, I mean, it's in this case, it's changing many things. Esra already uh, lived that. I mean, she already uh, gets this um, uh, tejube. <laughs> Experience, yeah. Experience, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's a, one of our um, club, uh, Nismap club, or it, it was a, uh, another club, I don't know, but they are working for Nismap too. Mm -hmm. So because we're, I mean, uh, strong clubs, we're choosing, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, we're just taking care about their capacity too. Uh, to understand this map and uh, tell others. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, it's, it can be also even uh, theater clubs too. I mean, it doesn't matter yeah. I mean, if, who, who is uh, very uh, interested with this needs map, you're sharing responsibility with them. So uh, one of these uh, club president, now he's uh, asking uh, to work with us. I mean, also we're uh, they're just in the, working in the other company, so they're just uh, collecting with us. I mean, like a, co a cooperation with us. So it's very. Uh, I mean, last seven years, it's worked a lot. This system. So in the university part is very important because uh, they are young and they are very. Um, uh, I mean, uh, they want to do something for the. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially for the needs map, because uh, the, the trust already built uh, and we made many things uh, already with them, with the university and the, even with the high schools. Uh, like three, high schools, three, yeah. Yeah, uh, three, three, three, four years ago, we just visited to Ankara. Maybe uh, some people from Ankara, I don't know, uh, the other college, it's uh, one of yeah. uh, well known uh, school. Uh, so it was youngest volunteer was 12 years old, doesn't this right? Like, wow, yeah. yeah, yeah, they were 12 years old, they were needs map, needs map volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we worked them and they um sent books uh, for the uh, others for the other friends. So, Matt, so, are you saying that needs map volunteers can be high school students, university clubs, right. even like have corporate you know representatives and companies? Yeah. Yeah, companies, yeah, uh -huh. corporate uh, respiratory too. And also, I mean, uh, the uh, Esra points something about Izmir, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the uh, municipalities and municipality, uh, municipalities using the NIS nice map mm -hmm. as a smart city uh, product. Wow. So uh, it's kind of uh, coaching too, I mean, to understanding this system, understanding technology uh, using for the goods. So uh, it's kind of um, new wording mm -hmm. about, uh, I mean, to word to needs, to word to supporter. It's very important because, I mean, uh, if you are uh, losing, using the wrong word, it can um, uh, give people a wrong vibe too. Mm -hmm. So 
I mean, it's one of the things is uh, to build this uh, culture. So needs map try to build a culture at the same time. I'm not. It's not only uh, try to reach the money or reach the support. Mm -hmm. it's a, the most important thing to build a culture. Uh, you know, the municipalities, governments uh -huh. try to do many like these things. But uh, I think our uh, most important thing is to building a, this uh, uh, image of culture. Let's let's say. <laughs> I mean, you see in theories of social change that self-organized uh -huh. networks, when people come together and they're motivated and uh -huh. compelled to to come together and to do things together, that those activities tend to be more sustainable than you know from a top-down approach. So you really created that platform which enables normal citizens yeah. to say, you know, we want to self-organize and and participate. Exactly. So that we're you doing it all it, together. Yeah, yes. we're doing it I mean, uh, as I also pointed, but uh, Turkish Philanthropy found all time helping us to do this behavior change is the most important thing for me I and mean, for the Turkey. Uh, it's very hard to change people's behavior and understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, building the culture is another uh, system change, let's say. Um, it's a yeah. kind of system change too. Uh, so uh, that's why we're just uh, not only looking for the uh, university students we, we're looking for the change makers yeah. i mean who wants to change uh, who wants to be a change maker and so that's why i mean the izmir case is important because it's a kind of change making uh, I mean, it's kind of you never build a tent people just open their houses yeah they uh, give their houses for uh, like three months six months free even they don't give their um their relatives to <laughs> <Even, laughs> they can't give their for son or uh, sure. daughter but yeah. they, they gave uh, to to not know anyone like so just just they leave it for six months three months because it was very uh, powerful empathy the most yeah. important things that's why i'm trying to say like culture uh, building culture is very important uh, we have that culture we have that sense uh, unfortunately uh, some uh, problems can change the uh, system, culture, I mean, uh, so uh, this is very important to remember, mm -hmm. uh, this culture, and also it's kind of social diplomacy, yeah. because uh, we almost, uh, like Turkish people who live in other countries and uh, inside Turkey, they support almost $10 million mm. uh, from their uh, pockets, I mean, from their uh, so, but yeah. the uh, government after that, government was planning to support almost uh, $5 million or something like this. It was around like this. Mm -hmm. After uh, all this uh, society supports $10 million, they said, okay, we gave $20 million. So <laughs> there it's you a go. social, it's kind of social diplomacy. It's raising uh, the bar for we, sure. We, yeah, we're doing it all together. Yeah. So, uh, so municipality planned and uh, they changed their uh, support. So it's a kind of uh, competition mm -hmm. uh, and this competition helps people too. Uh, so like this, uh, Izmir cases and like this cases are very important to use society for the like this diplomacy too, building this culture too. Matt, I mean, your example of Izmir self-organizing and then Itya Charita, so like the more data that you collect for a particular community, the more of a smart city solution it becomes, right? Because you're actually informing then uh, service providers as well as what needs to happen. It's interesting that people can support from international arenas with their pockets, you know, with their wallets and their financial mm -hmm. contributions, but they can also open their homes, which is fascinating. Right. I mean, there's something that everyone can do. Esra, when we were briefing each other earlier, we had talked a little bit about potentially expanding into new markets or into new countries. Is that part, still part of your vision? What, what do you think is going to happen there and how will that continue? Yeah, it is actually. I mean, uh, from the very first day, um, taking this give and take and solidarity um, culture of Turkish people, uh, first of all, to new generations, uh, passing it to new generations and then to the global actually was, our, was one of our goals from the very first day. So uh, now as our infrastructure is uh, strong enough 
and we are already serving for the you know uh, goals of NGOs plus municipalities for solidarity and for social change for social uh, development for social economy. Uh, now we are able to actually you can see the uh, map of Turkey uh, at the moment map of Turkey let's say what's the name yes uh -huh. name. map of Turkey uh, when you see a neat map. But actually, we are able to see whatever we want all over the globe. So we can use needs map, the system, the infrastructure in the world, wherever we are. Uh, we are at the moment um, looking for opportunities. Uh, we have meetings with different you know, countries, different NGOs, different cooperatives from all over uh, the world. Uh, to be able to piloting needs map uh, for good for in other countries. Uh, Africa is one of them. Italy is one of them, which we are very, very close. UK is mm -hmm. one of them. And hopefully, uh, I mean, US is a, a very big market. It's like uh, another world. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of our, you know, uh, goals of, of course, having needs map also in the States. So uh we are really working hard for that and plus while we are operating like this as a as a technology pro product uh that is used for good uh we are also following the technology and all those developments in these markets uh, emerging markets actually very close and we have two brains like Mike and Ali Arjan, which never stops mm -hmm. uh, for producing you know, new products. Uh, now we are after this uh, blockchain and blockchain and uh, new, you know, uh, market. Oh, yeah. All, yeah, also you, uh, how can we can use them? Because everybody are now into those blockchain, NFTs, you know, metaverse and everything. And we are already looking for opportunities to use also those technologies for good through needs map. So, so we have a long, long way ahead of us, uh, but we are, I mean, uh, taking each step each day. And uh, after going global, probably we'll be, you know, implementing a lot of new technology technologies as well. Esther, so is it uh, fair if we're, oh, I'm sorry, Mike, go ahead. No, no, please, please. I, I was just going to add one thing. So like uh, mm -hmm. ETH Charitas needs map kind of service provider. I mean, to give the other NGOs uh, service as a, a map. Yeah. So uh, we're not only the user uh, in the inside to needs map. We're just meeting point for the Tegev, Tema, the, mm -hmm. I mean, other uh, communities, other uh, uh even for the schools, it shouldn't be uh, NGO only. You created so a you created a whole new space instead of software as a service. You created needs map as a service. We yeah, need exactly. Uh, need, needs map as a, as a, as a, a service. Yeah, as a service. So uh, now it's a we now now we're creating blockchain as a uh, service. I mean for for uh, for the other uh, NGOs because it's very uh, high technology fast technology let's say and it's transparent mm -hmm. technology i mean it depends uh, how you want to use this power so the blockchain system is uh, fast understandable and transparency is very important for uh, in this case so uh, that's why we're tr trying to build that uh, that uh, block uh, chain site and so and we're gonna give us as a service uh, blockchain to other ngos too uh, so they will use uh, for their uh, other products what they want to, uh, I mean, which reason they want to use. So uh, it's a great, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity. So uh, we're trying to uh, build the system with this mind, with this mindset. So I was actually going to ask a continuation. It's glad, I'm glad that you made that um, comment. So in addition to the change makers who want to mobilize their local communities, uh, we talked about the schools and the different corporations, how can you can you actually leverage technology experts as volunteers or interns um, related to blockchain technology, fintech technology, mapping technology? And do you have a volunteer and internship program? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, if if they are having enough time, because it's very important to be a, a sustainable in these uh, cases. I mean, uh, now we have a professional uh, team uh, which we're working with. Uh, so we're outsourcing this blockchain uh, system and uh, blockchain uh, product. Uh, so we're uh, working with uh, another company and it's also uh, so one another company too. Uh, they are based in state, mm -hmm. uh, based in France, based in state too. Fantastic. So they're also uh, one of our partners uh, and uh, it's uh, one of the creator uh, co-founders of Turkish too. So uh, we're taking uh, help, we, we're taking support, and we're all time open. But the most important thing is uh, sustainability. sustainability. Because I mean, if, yeah. we, if we can't do it, I mean, it makes us very uh, late for the products and everything. It's, so time is very important uh, for NGO side and for uh, needs map, unfortunately. True. I mean, it requires a legitimate commitment, right? It's what mm. you're working on is something serious. It's something um, sensitive. And it, mm. it does need that that serious commitment, I think. But I mean, there there is an opportunity there as well. I yeah, think, of course. To tap into time. that talent. Long time. We'd love to. We'd love so to. we actually only have a few minutes left, um, maybe two minutes, um, to make our call to action. So, what would you both, each of you, like to say to volunteers, corporate sponsors, individual donors, and even you know, change makers and community leaders? What's our call to action today? Yes, sir. You want to jump okay. first, Esther? All the action is Okay, I may. I may, yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm going to um, say that we are, oh, yeah, as Matt said, we are open to all volunteer hearts uh, who can, who wants to be with us, who wants to share our stories, our experiences and everything. Whenever they are in Turkey or when, whenever they are in states in their own schools, they can, uh, you know, build their own communities, little communities, school communities, university communities, whatever, and help us uh, within their, you know, uh, own uh, neighborhood uh, and uh, whatever they can. Uh, we can just discuss and uh, have the help we can get uh out of them and when they come to turkey during summer they can also be uh i mean communicate us uh get in touch with us and i have seen uh something in the chat uh asking for a membership for uh, uh with a you know a uh, number foreign number uh you can sometimes you can do it sometimes you cannot it's a bug actually uh of our uh, sign up system we are uh, working on it, but if you just email us or get in touch with us uh, with the you know uh, contact uh, in our website, uh, our moderators make you a member and they send you the password and everything. Uh, you can use that, I guess. And Alpay was uh, asking, and and when it comes to call to action, uh, needs map uh, is a technology product used for good and it has you know uh, its employees uh, working you know uh, really uh, very hard to change the world for good and whatever we need is not that much but to be sustainable and to stand actually to continue what we are doing uh, to be able to do better to be to be able to do more and Margaret Mead once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. So what we need is a small, thoughtful group of citizens uh, who try to do something and people who support them. We can really change things. And what we are trying to do to be uh, with Turkish philanthropy fund, uh, uh, especially, is really, I mean, we know that um, the fires won't stop. Right. Uh, and we know that the disasters won't stop. And, you know, there is a really big earthquake being ex expected for Istanbul. So uh, we, I, I mean, fingers crossed that it never happens, but. Uh, eventually it will probably happen and it is really really really important as prepared as 
we can. Uh, so what we are trying to do will help and will make a change. And uh, we believe that we made uh, it happen uh, for everything we believed in. So uh, we'll be really happy. Uh, and and I really want to mention that uh, there is no small support or a big support, you know. Mm-hmm. It is a when, I mean, something may be so small for you, but somewhere uh, in the world, it changes a lot of things for another person. Mm-hmm. So it is just like that on this map. Uh, something you find small may be so big, may cause a big change. So it's the, it, it may be just the beginning of a big change. So... And never doubt yourself. It's not small. It's not big. Whatever you can do, it makes something. So, so uh, heartfelt, Esra. You you shared your call to action in the most heartfelt way. Um, Mart, would you like to make your closing remarks as well? Yeah, I mean she's great. I mean she yeah. said everything almost. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like uh, till two thousand to two, uh, to, uh, end of two thousand twenty. Uh, all uh, let's say affidavits, uh, ne? Disasters. Disasters. Disasters. Yeah. Um, it's like eight hundred percent raise. Wow. Eight wow. hundred. Yeah. Eight hundred percent. It's there like uh, bitcoins more than fast, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so and it's unfortunately it's going to be like this. Yeah. with the uh, global warming, with the uh, climate change and everything. So, I mean, we were not expecting to have uh, like uh, a huge um, fire in Australia too. I mean, it's like almost four months they burn. I mean, the Australia burned like four months, wow. nearly six months. Yeah, so it's a huge thing and uh, at the same time in turkey uh, like hundreds uh, fire starts mm-hmm. so uh, global warming is uh, we live in global warming uh, that almost the uh, uh, covid is a global warming solution mm-hmm. uh, so covid is not only covid it's, a, uh, it's changing everything so i mean call to action is uh, global warming and <laughs> especially this uh, and also um, climate change is very important. And it tells us uh, we have to be ready for everything. So we have to uh, keep our all sources at the same time. And we have to be ready for the um, these development technologies for the uh, these disasters. So uh, we all the time uh, to develop our um, NGO sites and understanding. So I think nothing else I can say. Yes, sir. Wonderful, Matt. I'm really, I'm actually really glad that you tied it to, you know, global mm-hmm. warming. Like, you know, there are two things we can do. One is tackle global warming, and the other thing is be prepared for for the effects of global warming. So those are the two things that we can do. And the needs map is actually the platform to be ready and prepared um, for, the, for the worst case while we're dealing, trying to create a better world in the best case. So this is a Turkish Philanthropy Fund, Voices of Partners with Ihtiyaç Haritasa, also known as Needs Map. Thank you to Mert Furat and Esra Arslan and also your team for the wonderful work that you do. It's really, really valuable. It's amazing the work that you've created, the platform that you've created and the impact that it's having and how quickly that model is maturing. Um, it's also fascinating to see technology for good. Um, just to, to summarize also our call to action collaboration, you can support the Needs Map um, capacity building campaign through the TPF donate webpage, donatetpf.org campaign needs map. Again, as Esra mentioned, no amount of donation is too small or too large. Um, Really, it all adds up. In the spirit of needs uh, map, this crowdfunding and this image culture is really critical to making things better. Thank you so much.